I'm Ms. Artastic, and today we're going to draw a leprechaun, perfect for a St. Patrick's Day. So find your favorite mark-making mediums, and let's make some art. All right, we're gonna begin our leprechaun with um, the top of the hat. So we're gonna do the hat first, and then we'll do the face. So towards the top of your paper, you're gonna draw one line across for the top of the hat. Curve it a little bit down and in for the sides of the top hat. One line across for the bottom. And then we'll add a crooked rectangle around it. On the hat, you can draw one line across for the ribbon on the hat. And then we'll just add a little shamrock on the hat. So we're gonna do almost a heart shape, but we're gonna leave the bottom open. And we're gonna add two sides to it with a little curving stem. You can add a line down the center of each petal or leaf, and that will create your shamrock. Next, you can give your leprechaun hair, and you can give it any style of hair that you want. Next, we're going to draw a U shape on either side. We'll give our leprechaun some pointy fairy-like ears. We'll draw a line along the top, along the side, and then a little half circle in each ear to create the folds of the ear. As well, you can add a few hatching lines in the darkness of the ears to create shading. Perfect. Under the chin, we'll draw a letter U shape. And we're just going to draw the top of the collar of the shirt, as this is just a portrait. Two lines down, connect there. Perfect. Um, you can add two more lines that come on either side of the shoulders, and that's where we'll Stop. All right, in the face on either side, we're going to do one large circle, one small circle. Okay, one large circle, one small circle. In the large circle, you're going to draw a second circle, and that circle is going to be the same size as this circle, so the pupils are the same. This eye is just really wide. In each pupil, you're going to draw another circle that's big and a tiny circle that's small. Well, I guess so because it's tiny. Color in everything black except for the two whites in the eye. Next. Between the eyes, we're going to draw one straight line. Below it, we're gonna leave a space and we're gonna draw two dots. Connect those two dots with the letter U. Draw a line between them for the tongue. Now we're gonna draw one more letter U. We're gonna start from one side of the mouth, curve it down, Skip over the ton, back up the other side to create the wide open mouth. And then where that gap is, we're going to draw another line across the top and that's going to create our leprechaun's teeth. And then we're going to color in everything but the line of teeth and the tongue. Perfect. 
And finally, we'll give our leprechaun a little nose with just a little bent L shape on a diagonal. Lovely. And if you want, you can also add some eyebrows on your leprechaun. It's up to you. You do you. All right. Once you've done that, you're going to go around the outside of your leprechaun a second time to clean up all your lines. As well, this is going to make it bold and beautiful and it's going to create contrast and when we make contrast, people look at our work. Perfect. And once you're done, we are ready to color our lovely leprechaun. I'm going to first start off with the shirt and the hat. I'm going to find my black felt marker. Now you can use whatever mark mediums make you that make you happy, whether you're going to use felt markers or if you're going to use wax crayons, oil pastels, you do you. Pick what makes you happy and let's make some art. Next, I'm just going to grab a nice, I'm gonna do a bright green on the band on the hat and you can pick whatever color you want. And then I wanna pick a different green for the shamrock because I want one that's more of a shamrock color. Next, I'm going to use, hmm, I'm going to use a yellow on the clasp on the shirt. And I think I'm gonna use the orange on the collar. So we can keep it to the Irish colors. And I'm also going to use the orange in the hair 
Now, wherever you want highlights, you can leave it a bit white and that's going to add some natural highlights. So if you want some highlights in the hair, you can leave some areas white intentionally. And you could do that for other areas as well. All right, so now we're going to do the skin. So you pick your choice of skin color. Doesn't matter, you do you. So pick your choice skin color. Color in the skin. Grab a pink, we'll do the tongue. As well as you can grab a blue. And we're just going to go around the edges. So just a fine tip blue, it could be even a pencil crayon. We're going to go around the inside edges of the pupils. We're gonna create a little bit of variety in color and you can go along the bottom of the teeth and that will just create a little edge of shading and of course add some variety. And finally, you can grab a gray, it could be a gray pencil crayon, it could be a gray fill marker, choice is yours. And we're gonna use that to add some shading. around the face, shade around the eyes and nose, under the eyebrows, around the bottom and sides of the mouth, can shade part of that tongue, and under that hairline. Perfect. And once you're done shading, you can grab a white um, oil pastel or a white wax crayon. This is just a white wax crayon and we can add some highlights to our drawing so it stands out a little bit. So maybe on the shoulders we add some highlights. That way it has, again, some variety. It's more interesting to look at. We're like, oh, this person put a lot of detail on their art. They highlighted it. Pull on the top of the hat. I like wax crowns because I can hold them in any direction and they work and you don't have to sharpen it. So I can make some nice smooth marks by holding it on its side. So I like that about it. And it's just the right kind of highlight that I like. But of course, you do you. Your art is your art. And once you're done adding highlights to your lovely artwork, your leprechaun perfect for St. Patrick's Day is done. If you liked that video, hit subscribe as new art lessons are added weekly. Teacher, if you are looking for some fully planned art lessons, please make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, or for fully planned art teacher curriculum, head on over to artasticcollective.com. Or if you're looking for some other teaching ideas and art inspiration, you can visit my blog at MsArtastic.com or listen to the Ms. Artastic podcast on your favorite podcast player.